Hi, Leos. This is Kathy. Welcome to my channel, Kathy Mammel and Psychic Medium. Welcome to a general love reading for my Leos. Very excited that you're here. Let's see what spirit has for you. We are going to be using some charms. I have a bowl of charms today. I also have a big bowl of initials, tarot dice, and tarot, little miniature tarot um, tiles. So we'll be using some of those. But let's see what spirit has for you. Let's going on around you for love. Anything spirit wants to share with me. Spirit, I'm here with my Leos. Is there anything that you want to share with me at this time? Please guide me. I am listening for you now. Let's see, everybody. What do we need to hear? I have unique. You are unique and special. I have never met anyone like you before. So somebody sees you as different. And usually that is when somebody falls in love with you, that you stand out, that you're unique, you're special. And they don't, they can't compare you to anybody else. And all of a sudden they realize there's something about you uh, that they just love. They love and they've never met anybody. And all of a sudden you stand out in the crowd. I, I think that's beautiful. So keep doing what you're doing because you're drawing attention to somebody. Let's see what else they're saying. I have blessed. I am blessed beyond measure to share a powerful divine love with you. So some of you, you may be blessed in the sense that you have a child with somebody she's expecting. And you may be blessed that we're going to have a family together. That's something that um, we are interested in talking about or future. And I know some of you have already had your children. It's not for everybody, but some of you may feel very blessed in this connection for a bigger purpose. And that could be coming. I have sleepless nights. Anxiety keeps me awake at night. My life has changed since I met you. Now, I'm not feeling in a negative way. I feel the anxiety more in the sense of I don't want this to go away. Um, I finally found somebody that I really want to be with and I just want it to work out. So sometimes even when it's good, we have anxiety and I feel like that's what's going on. Uh, try to let go of those fears. Look what's right in front of you and just try to stay in the moment as best you can to enjoy what you, what you do have. Let's get one more. I want to be my best self for you. So I have somebody who is working really hard at, I guess, trying to improve themselves because you're a catch of some kind to them. So they want to be a catch to you. And a lot of times that happens. We come into a new relationship and both of us are working on losing a little weight or um I don't know, new hair, new outfits, um, looking a little sharper, you know, for our person. So I think that that's what's going on. Also, like, I want to look good for you. I, I want you to be attracted to me always. Let's see what the cards are saying. I think you've got somebody who really wants to move this forward and take this to the next level. If you haven't met your person, please use any of my readings to manifest the love that you are worthy of or to confirm the love that has come into your life. Welcome back, everybody. Please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. Spirit, tell me more about feeling this feeling unique and special. I have a five of cups. So the, I'm going to put this with my, my sleepless nights because I don't want to be disappointed. I don't want to be upset over that this could go away. And I don't want you to think along those lines. Not every relationship goes away. There is going to be that one relationship that stays. You love that person. They love you. And everything works out, Spirit just said. I have a Prince of Pentacles putting in some energy into this. I want to build upon something. And it is coming into me as slow and steady. I, this person could be saying, I want to take this slow because I just came out of something and it was very hard. It was very traumatic for me. But I'm interested in this connection more than anything. But I do want to take things slow. I don't want you to look at take things slow as, as a negative the person who says, I want to take things slow, sometimes it's a good thing. They don't want to screw it up. They don't want to rush into something and then, you know, just, I don't know, get all 
go through all the good stages like, you know, in, in two seconds. So this person is trying to be smart and be an adult. So I, I do feel that way. So I guess go slow is okay. I have a 10 of pentacles. Now, this is a feeling of I want it all is how it just came into me. Somebody who I have a king of wands at the bottom of my deck. So I want it all. Somebody who's very passionate about you, sees you as very special and doesn't want to rush into something. But I don't want you to look at it as they're not interested in you. It's more of a, I don't want to screw it up. <laughs> um, you know, so that's sometimes uh, a good energy. Let's get some, let's get some letters and some, some charms. See what these guys are saying for you today. So this big bowl, I'm just going to grab a handful. They're a little, a little uh, tough to get, but I'll, I'll grab some and I'm going to just shake these and we're going to get letters and another dice and let's just get a couple more letters. Okay. Let's see what these are saying for you today. All right, let me just do these first. So I have an Ace of Cups. Okay, I have an Ace of Cups. I have a King of Cups. Beautiful. So you can see the love, like the new love, the, the committed love. And I have a star. So I'm going to say this is what you have been wanting or dreaming or manifesting is coming. I love that. I have a death card after death, which I just felt that ten of swords. So somebody's coming out of something that was pretty difficult. That is why they're struggling. They're struggling with, I just don't want to jump into something and have a regret. I, I love being with you. You're the best thing that's happened to me in a long time. But I just want to make sure it's right. And I have a wheel of fortune. So you're going to start to feel that it's right. You're going to start to feel that I'm supposed to be with you. I'm meant to be with you. Something along those lines. Let's see what I have. I have the letter A. I have an S. I have an E. I have two E's. I'm going to put this over here. Okay. I have a H. I have I feel like I want to say the name Ashley. I don't know if that applies to anybody. I have the P, a P, a K. I have the letter C. I have a W. And I have another E. So we have lots of E. So we have quite a few clues. So we'll take those as just a handful of initials. Don't worry if you're not seeing your person's initials. It's all okay. Let's see what else Spirit wants to share with you. So I... I have to admit, the person who is acting like an adult that says, I don't want to rush into anything because I respect you or I want to build trust or I want to get to know you first, I would say is somebody that's a lot more serious about a relationship than somebody who just wants to like go from you know, zero to a hundred in, in two days. So I would say this person ha has a good head on their shoulders. Let's see what else they have. These are angel numbers. So I have the number two, one, three, four, and I have a sense of achievement. I would say that this Prince of Pentacles and Ten of Pentacles is somebody who has been working on other areas their, of their life. They could have a sense of success. I've achieved certain things in my life that you could be very proud of, of some of the things that this person is uh, bringing into this connection. I have one, two, two, one. I have symbiosis. So I, a sense of being connected is how it's coming into me, that there's a lot connecting us. Now, the, the triangle is coming into me a little bit of a friend of a friend, that we have somebody in common. Maybe we didn't even know that we both knew this person um, until afterwards, but I'm not feeling third party. I'm feeling like a friend of a friend. And that's, I think, how we are put together. And then I have 777. Luck is on your side. Look for 77. Look for luck. Luck is on your side. The Wheel of Fortune. Beautiful. 4141. I have a habit. Now that's coming into me as I'm getting used to you. <laughs> I'm getting used to you and I'm liking you in my life. I'm, I'm enjoying you um, becoming a part of my life. So I think that that's nice. Let's see what else they want you to know, Leos. Let's see. I have a psychic ability. This phase of heightened intuition requires trust. 
trust your intuition. When this person is saying, uh, let's see where this goes, or let's just give this time. I have 12, 12 on the clock when I'm recording this also. So we've lots of, lots of angel numbers coming in and trust your psychic ability is if, if it feels right and it feels good and you are, I guess, just enjoying the moment. I'm going to say stay in the moment because it, it is a feeling of don't look too far ahead. It doesn't mean that the future isn't going to come. It just the spirit's asking you just stay in the moment for now. And uh, let's let's let this just unfold your inner child. Release any inhibitions and let yourself dance. Have fun. Stay in the now. Have fun. Um, fall in love. Have it be whimsical. You know, play, laugh. You know, this is these are the days of falling in love. So I want you to enjoy each other. Spirit just said. I have potent practice. Take back your power and manifest what it is you want. I feel like you've manifested this. I, I feel like if this has come into your life, I feel like this is what you've been asking for. You have been asking for somebody who isn't going to be, you know, just rushing into your life and pushing into your life and taking control. I think that you have to kind of ease yourself into this relationship. And for you, that's going to work. You know, this sense of over a period of time, we got to know each other, we built that trust. So for a lot of you, I feel like that's how this connection's unfolding. Let's grab some charms. Let's see what the charms are saying. I've been adding lots of charms to this bowl, some new charms to my collection. So it's been kind of fun reading them because some of them I haven't even seen yet. And I'm just kind of finding them as I go. All right. So let's see what jumps out at me. I have a number eight. Could be August. Okay. That's right around the corner. I have three and I have a four, but I feel like 34. So that that could be an age. Could be March, uh, April but it could be an age of somebody is how I feel. Let's see, I have a peace sign. So that's coming into me as very peaceful. We're gonna put this up here. And I also have an O. So, you know, I'm gonna say 40 also. There could be an age difference. It could be somebody like who's like 34, you know, find somebody that's 40. There could be like a little bit of a age difference there of a few years. Let's see what I'm feeling. Friend of a friend. Here's my friend. I, I feel like it's coming in through an introduction. I have a key to my heart. I like that. This little heart. We're going to put this. I must felt like I felt something the first time I met this person, whether it was just an instant attraction or this is a lightning bolt. I'm going to say I felt something. <laughs> there was something about that first meeting. I couldn't wait to see them again. I do like that. I have, I'm going to put these stars together because part of me feels like I just want to say the stars are aligning, like it's your turn, it's your time, something like that, that, that feels good to me also. Um, I want to talk about this wrench because that just came into me as somebody puts a wrench in this connection. There could be um, like a mother of a child or father of a child that doesn't want somebody to move on or they're divorced and isn't really happy about anybody being happy. They don't, you know, so I don't know, they just kind of do digs or put it, throw a wrench in things. You, you know, they're supposed to have the kids and then they don't take the kids or they change the schedule just to kind of screw up with uh, things. So I, I feel like this is somebody just interfering just out of spite. So I'm going to put this over here. I have a pocketbook. I'm going to put it with a pocketbook because it's coming into me as somebody who's probably that's coming into me as like somebody who's I want it my way. I feel like it's like a designer purse and I'm going to get what I want. So it could be a feminine energy that's kind of behaving badly. I'm going to say just just not behaving like an adult. And I'm going to put this moon with these stars. I'm over the moon and stars for you. And what else am I feeling? I have this uh, hot air balloon with um, a dollar sign. But I do feel this person is successful. I did feel that. Uh, maybe that's why I'm feeling like this, this kind of designer pocketbook. 
that this person doesn't want somebody else in the picture because it's going to interfere with, you know, I don't know, some kind of finances that they feel like they're entitled to or were entitled to. So I, I feel like it always comes down to money in this situation. So something is going on with that. Now, I do have a dinosaur and I have these ballet shoes. So I feel like, and I also have this um, gingerbread person. So that's coming into me as uh, children, okay? L little girls, little boys, um, happy holidays kind of thing. So somebody may have still some children in their life or young children, could be grandchildren even, but to come into me as little children. And I have a fox and I have acorns that's coming into me as the woods, nature. And then I also have a whale. Hmm. Not sure what I'm feeling with the whale, but I like the woods. I like the um, energy of maybe walking in the woods or hiking or something along those lines. Let's see what else Spirit wants you to know. So the overall energy is really positive with the exception of that one feeling of I had a maybe a feminine energy trying to throw a wrench <laughs> into um, sabotaging in some way this connection nothing you can handle, nothing your person can handle. So, but it is unexpected and it's unfortunate. I'm going to say it that way. Let's see what else they have. I have a hermit. We've been alone. I've been working by myself. I've been uh, waiting. I feel like meeting somebody right now. They had said you're unique and special. So they could have been alone for a while and just struggling with the whole dating scene. And I just don't meet the right people. And I just haven't met anybody that, that I really want to be with um, feeling. So when you come along, you are the first person in a long time that's able to open their heart. They let down their guard. They take off their mask. They see you clearly and they open up their heart. So there is something very special about you. And you're the first person in a long time that they really want to start something new with. So that I think is key. You know, that that they may share with you. I date a lot of people, but I only go out once or twice with them and it doesn't really go anywhere. So this is going to move forward with this chariot. I really feel like you've got somebody who's sees you as somebody. I really want to see where this goes and I really want to get this started. So even if it's going slow, I, I don't want you to worry. I want you to take it, take it um, as it comes and let it, let it happen. And Stay in the moment and enjoy what's right in front of you. And the future will be here before you know it. That's how I feel. Let's see what else they're saying. Love messages. I wish I could express how much I truly love you. They could be holding back their feelings a little bit because they don't want to rush into anything. They don't want to give you a false impression or make promises they can't keep at this point. So they could be holding back their feelings, even if they really are truly falling in love with you. That's okay. You can tell when somebody's falling for you. Um, this is a romance of a lifetime I've been waiting for. That's beautiful. I've been searching for you. I've been looking for you. I think about you all the time. I also feel like I want to say that I communicate with you all the time, that this person reaches out. They talk to you. They text you throughout their day. They go out of their way to see how your day is going. I feel like the communication is excellent and it's very, very consistent and it's very flattering. And I feel like it makes you feel special, which is really what this person sees in you. And I have, I will love you forever. You have just met somebody that really is going to go, I guess, through a lifetime with you. I'm, I'm going to put it out there, but we have somebody that this really can turn into something so, so much more how gorgeous. This reading was for you. I want to thank Spirit for these messages. If you're new to my channel, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. So grateful that you're here today. If anybody would like to book a private reading with me, please check out my website at kathymamelinpsychicmedium.com.